My build is complete. In this video, we'll be doing a complete walk around on my Jeep Gladiator Mojave build out. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, hey, it's been a year since I bought this thing and my build is complete. I've seen some little pieces and parts as we went along. But uh, amazingly, it's done front to back from everything from lights to bumpers to winches to lifts to steering stabilizers to wheels to tires, uh, rock sliders, lights in the bumpers, all that stuff. Let's take a walk around and see where we're at. So the overall look of this is just beautiful. I'm so happy with how this has turned out from the wheels to everything that we have in here to bed racks to tonneau covers. It is amazing it is this clean. It looks this great. Just yesterday, here's a pic where we were in the Cahutta Wilderness, and this thing's practically buried. It is completely coated in mud. I cleaned everything up this morning. It was a big, big effort. But let's walk through it and uh, look at all the pieces. So, so before, this is kind of the before shot, and this is where we're at now. And if we look, it's dramatically changed. If we look in the front here, the first thing we did was get rid of these plastic bumpers that were on the original one. And after a massive exhausting search, I actually went with the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon bumper with the ends on the sides. Uh, and it's the steel bumper. Uh, I get a lot of questions, did this add a lot of weight? I mean, it is heavier than the plastic one, but I have not noticed any sag in this suspension or anything. This was upgrade on the front number one. Next thing we did is we did put an Evo 10 worn winch in. So a 10,000 pound winch with a synthetic line. I, uh, I looked at doing a 12, but I'll be honest with you, I wasn't sure that we could fit this in, into this Rubicon bumper. Everything's tight. And one of the things I get a lot of questions on on the Rubicon bumper is, was I able to keep the stainless steel skid plate in the bottom? And the answer is, yeah, or the aluminum skid plate. And the answer is yes. The guys over at Hicks Automotive had to do a little bit of cutting, but they fit that thing in there. Uh, on the winch itself, we do have a Factor 55 closed loop hook system in here. So this is the flat link. Love this with the rope guard built in. So it protects everything. I did go with the shallow hoop guard here from Mopar as well. Um, it, you know, they, they can be higher, they can be lower. I really, really like this one lower. It does give the winch protection and it also has these Mopar light mounts on it. I did a whole another video on auxiliary lighting about a month ago if you want to see how these things operate. But these are 8,000 lumens a piece. They sit nicely up here. These are Mopar. Uh, lights. I do have these hooked into the auxiliary switches inside the cab. I got four of them. I'm using up three of them so far. So as far as the front end goes, this was uh, again bumper, guard, winch, lights, uh, and then uh, stuff from factory link. If we go to the side over here and take a look at what else we did. Well, one thing we did do uh, dramatically different is we did put a lift in here. I went with an inch and a half Quadratech. I'm sorry, inch and a half Terraflex. The reason we didn't pull all the shocks and everything out is these are Fox shocks. These are special. So when you buy a Mojave, they do come with Fox racing system built in. So I wanted to make sure we kept all of that. So we, we put an inch and a half on the front and we put an inch in the back to level it out a little bit because it did have quite a uh, rake on it. Next upgrade at the top here, we did go with these auxiliary lighting at the top. These throw out 4,800 lumens. Pretty good stuff. I've got these sitting on some KC adapters. Because this is a Mopo, uh, Mojave, it does have a little bit higher hood, just like the 392s. You can see the indentions here. And so you got to get some special adapters. Did get rid of the uh, regular steel antenna it comes with and put in one that's flexible and go through. And the other thing we did was I did, I did move from 33s, the, the Falcon Wild Peaks these come with, and I went to Ridge Grappler, Nitto Ridge Grapplers. So these are 35 inch tires and I did pull off the rims. I did like the rims that came from the factory, that black military look, but I saw a picture in one of the Facebook groups I'm on of this Fuel Rebel 5. And I was like, wow, this just matches the Sting Gray. It looks so good, I had to have it. Other uh, things that have completed my exterior build for this is these Mopar rock sliders. Now I did have these installed at the factory when I bought it, so it's not something I added, 
but I love them. Uh, they have gotten a lot of use um, and they are almost indestructible. <laughs> um, moving back uh, towards the back, I did put a rack system in here from Billy Bars uh, that holds uh, all of my Rome Adventure case that goes up on top as well as the rooftop tent. I actually just have, I lift off the entire bars as a whole when we take the system off and I leave these on. These Molly panels are great. We have them, they do hold fuel and they hold my water port system as well. Again, we got the rims on the back. Moving back, we did put in a Red Rock 4x4 bed slider set for rock, rock rails for a bed slider in the back. Uh, really for two things. A, to give a little protection right here, but B, to give yourself a step up. This thing has gotten significantly taller. Uh, when we did put the lift in, it comes with an additional inch lift from the factory. We put 35s, so things got a lot bigger. So moving back to the back. So this did come with a plastic bumper, and I did look at a lot of bumpers, uh, and in the end, I just went with the Rubicon steel bumper. So I had this pulled off. The guys over at uh, Hicks did a great job, just kind of matching up, went with the same thing that was there. One thing I did do is I did pull out the reflectors and I put in these Vision X lights. They put out 4,000 lumens. I've got them hooked in, not to the reverse, but into an auxiliary switch. And it works really, really great. Other things that we've done inside of here is we did have the hard tonneau cover installed at the factory when it came in. And I also had the bed rail system right here, the trail rail system installed at the factory as well. Um, that was one thing that I didn't want to have to do in the field, but hooks up great, got latches, a lot of stuff. And we did also have the auxiliary power that I use uh, for camping quite a bit uh, at the factory. And the last thing that we had installed was the steering stabilizer right there from Smart Steer. As we went with the bigger tires and the bigger rims and, and, and lifted up a little bit, we just wanted to stabilize things. And that is my build walk around. This thing is freaking awesome. Again, this is my build walk around. I am so happy with this. This is one of the best purchases I've made. And I, I am just so happy with all of the purchases that I've made on this particular build. I think it's done actually. Other than adding some additional camping gear, I think we're where we need to be. Wait, well, hey, I appreciate everybody's time. Hey, if you like this kind of video, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified when we got new content out. Everybody have a great week. Thanks a lot.